What is going on guys? Welcome back to Steph AB TV and welcome to another video. Right now you guys find me here at the Geneva Motor Show. It is the 70th anniversary of ABAR this year and of course behind me is the brand new 2019 595 SASA. This isn't the normal style of video that you'll see from me. I got all the cinematic stuff has gone out the window plain and simply because it is so busy here at Geneva and I just really wanted to kind of show you guys a first look of the car behind me. You've got the SASA here but also behind me is the above 124 Rally Tributor. 124 of these cars are coming, well, they're gonna be made, none of which are coming to the UK. So uh, it does look very nice with the white wheels. We'll touch on that in a bit. But today, it's all about this car. The above 595 SASA. So right, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little walk around of what this car looks like. So it is live here at the Geneva Motor Show making its debut. It is in the very nice Campovolo Grey. Um, obviously Abarth SASE you can see here. And it's great to see this car coming back on. So the Abarth SASE, it's running 178 horsepower, still the uh, Garrett Turbo 1.4 liter engine. Uh, this one is in the Campovolo Grey with the white uh, Super Turismo wheels, the multi-spokes. Um, it does now, so this car from, for a bath does sit now kind of at the top of the food chain when it comes to the 595 range. So you've got the Competizione, but then you've got this one which sits just above it. From a power perspective, they're all kind of the same, but obviously this being kind of the, the new flagship car for 2019. And of course, based on the fact that it is 70 years of a bath, uh, you can see that you've got the very nice, I'll come out from this angle so you can see it a bit better. You've got the very nice 70th anniversary uh, showing, well, 70 years of a bath basically. It does look very nice in this kind of polished aluminium look. If we come around the back of the car, You've got the above SASA logo again. You can see here, guys, replacing the kind of competition, putting SASA in there. Um, obviously, Series 4, so you get all the usual trims here. It does have an Akrapovich exhaust. So, whilst the 595 competition has the Monza, this one comes with the Akrapovich exhaust, which I think is it's great. I think the Akrapovich exhaust sounds amazing. And of course, it will be valved as well. So inside the car, you get a very nice kind of 70th anniversary embroidery on the seats. It is still the Sabelt seat, so the SASA comes with the Sabelt seats. Looking at the inside, lots of carbon here, what you would expect from the kind of top of the range 595. Um, so you've got the Alcantara steering wheel, hopefully that's focusing. One sec, guys. Alcantara steering wheel, which look obviously covered in carbon fiber as well, which does look very, very nice. The SAS also comes with the carbon dash, which is great for this kind of car. Um, I think it does set off the interior very, very nicely. Um, all the other usual trims, you've got obviously your USB AUX port in here. Uh, you have got the seven inch infotainment system, uh, which I would envisage will come in all the sat nav, tom tom, speed camera detection, etc. From a sound system perspective, this car comes with the beat sound system, which is fantastic as well. The beat sound system on these cars, particularly on the new comps, does sound really, really good. All right, guys, a couple of extra details which I have just noticed. So you do now get these kind of very, very nice kind of a bath kick plates as well on the SS. And I'm not sure if that's just on this car or if it's, uh, if it's an optional extra you can buy, but you still get the, obviously the LCD display that you get on all the Euro 6s. This is a U EU model, which is why I believe you have this um, boost gauge on the side. I would love it if this was the case in the UK as well and remove the boost gauge from here, which I really don't like. I don't think it looks very good here at all, personally. You've got a nice Alcantara top here. And also, you probably won't really notice it, but um, you have red seat belts as well. So red seat belts also come uh, as part of the uh, the SSA package. Uh, but I do like that. I think that's a nice touch. Celebrating 70 years of a bath. The gear stick itself is a kind of polished aluminium, I think. Um, yeah, it does look, it looks it's quite interesting though. It's almost like a bit of a golf ball. Um, but yeah, no, so it is, there's no carbon on the gear stick itself, which is quite interesting considering the rest of the car is pretty much carbon fiber. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that obviously these are the, uh, the say belt seats and on the SES it comes with the carbon backing as well. So again, you found this on the Biposto Record Edition and you now find the carbon seats on the 595 SSA. Really, really nice and I'm glad they've gone down this route. So there you have it guys. That's a kind of real quick and dirty overview of the new 595 Abarth SSE. Now, I know loads of people are gonna go slamming into the comments and say, oh, do you know what the new Abarth 
processor so they should have done something different with the engine but at the moment we still have the current 1.4 litre t-jet engine running the garrett turbo this one is 180 horsepower the 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds it is a very very good looking car i really like the color scheme i like the fact that it's got a white wheels and the campervola gray i think it works really well it's kind of traditional sasa i've had a couple of discussions with the bath uk already and hopefully once one of these arrives on the press fleet i'll be able to get hold of this and well do you a full review um, but yeah obviously the other thing on the stand which you guys need to have a quick look at is the 124 rally spider tributo so here is the Abarth 124 Spider Rally Tribute. Now the reason this car has been built is of course to celebrate the rally successes that this car has had over the last few years. Now there's only going to be 124 units of this car actually made, of which none are coming to the UK. Uh, and the real kind of, well the noticeable differences really are the fact that it does have the same, uh, well it's got the ultra Leggera wheels which you can see but they are in white of course. It does come with Tributo plaques as well. Um, you can see there, obviously the 124 Rally Tributo comes with the, almost like the 124 GT carbon roof, which is a nice touch. And I think that's a good thing to have on this special edition model. And if we don't take a look inside, the interior trim, if you can see, hopefully, uh, light's not great, apologies guys. Uh, interior trim, uh, trim is a very similar situation. In fact, to be fair, nothing's really changed with the interior uh, at all. You still kind of have the very nice leather seats, uh, but also you've got the, uh, the, the RGT Cup, you know, rally tribute plaque. So this being number one of 124 that are going to be made. So there you have it guys, that is a quick summary as to what's going on this year, 2019, on the Abarth stand at the Geneva Motor Show. Now again, I'm sorry that the video quality may not necessarily be at its best, there might be quite a lot of background noise, but I'm trying to get you guys the content as, uh, as best as I can. And of course, this is the first time that I am here in Geneva, so it's really, really cool to see these cars kind of in the flesh really. Uh, this is an exciting car for me, I like this a lot, and I think this will be very, very popular. Uh, the Rally Tribute, of course, 124 of those to be made. Uh, none of them are coming to the UK, uh, which is a shame uh, because arguably people would say that that car there is a bit of a collector's item because there's only 124 of them that are well, being made. Of course, the 595 SASA, when I get hold of that from Bath UK, full first drive video. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for this specific section. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, a very quick video, nothing too fancy, but then again, you are at the Geneva Motor Show and it's pretty much impossible to get any real content on these guys. Fortunately for me, it's relatively quiet on the stand, but it's gonna get very, very busy very, very quickly, which is why I'm trying to film this now and get it out as soon as possible. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name's been Steph. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done already, and I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.